great grandfather was John McLaughlin, and it it is very special for me to go to that park. It's lovely to have some significance and some family recognition in Maclean, and I'm very proud of that. I know that the Camphor Laurel trees have been in McLaughlin Park for a very, very long time. They provide such a beautiful shade. They're visiting today, a little girl ran up to climb the tree and she had absolutely no trouble just getting to a very safe level and regarding herself as a princess in that tree. The thing we're most concerned about at the moment is the um, council's decision to fell the four historic camphor laurels in McLaughlin Park. The trees are 100 years old, planted by John McLaughlin, one of our earliest settlers, um, planted deliberately as shade trees uh, and to beautify the town. Uh, there's a huge heritage value attached to the trees. My involvement's always been in the area of checking out the minutes and doing the research for any problems we may have with either heritage or environmental issues. And in this case, um, we we found out about the plan of management, but we looked and thought it was 2003, shouldn't be a concern, uh, but in fact it's still valid, even though they should be revised every five or so years. If they've got the precinct plan, which left the trees where they were. Then the King and Campbell plan came along, all our deputations, all our letters, everything have said we want the four trees maintained, retained, cared for and why? The heritage value. Unfortunately, as you know, council's made a decision to now not only just remove one tree but to remove four trees. And they do this not because their local environment plan lets them, they do it because a 12 year old Crown Land Plan of Management allows them to do it under the ICEP which is the State Planning Authority. And we think that's very unfair because if they had to get a DA, we could go to the Planning Environment Court and any item in a heritage precinct um, has to have a DA. So we would have had our day in court at least to be able to show that this community and the heritage value of those trees. When the council made the decision about the four trees, um, not all councillors did vote for it. Uh, and then there was another, another motion that made it look as if they did, but in fact they didn't. And what happened then was that um, Councillor Baker moved another motion that all trees go because of the plan of management. And the Mayor used his casting vote to um, allow that vote to go through. So Margaret McKenna um, offered to um, put up a notice of motion. She let us know. All those arguments we put up, we also put up the scientific ar argument that New South Wales Chief Scientist has said they're not just four weed because they're a very low grade weed. So we've got the history, the heritage value, it's in a heritage precinct, the scientific evidence, and we provided all that evidence in a document, including the Arborist Report. We've written to the Lands Minister, we've written to, written to Chris Galaptis, and we've also sent it down to the Planning Minister, because it is linked with the supermarket. We were promised we had all of Cameron Park and it was going to be zoned park. That was it, we were not going to lose anything. Then they realised they didn't have enough car parks. And in the minutes, if you look at the history of the minutes, all around town, McLaughlin Park was one area. They wanted to get angle parking. They wanted to park in Stanley Street. They wanted to car park anywhere they could find a car park. And they were running out of areas and they had to provide the car park for the DA to be able to go ahead. And that was their deal with the south side of the land. So instead of the developer having to find the car parks, we're in a position that our council had to find the car parks, which is very unusual. They realised they couldn't, so they went back on their word to rezone all of Cameron Park and said they would only rezone part of Cameron Park. If the Minister agrees to review and revise the plan, the, the other argument about the plan of management is Grafton has have similar plans of management with Camphor Laurels which say they should have been removed. In all, all plans of management like ours, nothing's ever been done. And Grafton River Precinct Plan, in fact, comments on the advantage of having those beautiful shade trees. So one of our strong arguments is that our forebears really knew what they were doing by planting a tree that lived for 500 years and that is so suitable to this area. So we've got a situation that we hope the Lands Minister is going to look at the, that, is, that plan and say these do have heritage values and make it possible for the council to remove them. That's what we hope. As an organisation, the Greater McLean Community Action Group was formed a few years ago in 
in response mainly to the supermarket. When the final plan came out, there were a lot of people in town who were upset. People who love their community, but I would say the core value in, in the Greater McLean Community Action Group is its commitment to the heritage of the town and that built heritage and the natural heritage. Why we became incorporated was we needed to be able to challenge council and say, we want a plan for McLean that reflects its heritage. We've got ex-town planner, we've got people very active in the Scottish Association, we've got business people, there's a few retired people, landowners. It's a it's an eclectic group of people that, that represent the cross-section of McLean. We are prepared to do what it takes to hopefully have our council hear what the community is saying.